Okay, I want to talk really quick about multiplying and dividing with our integers and what we're going to see when we're kind of working with our positive negative numbers. First thing, one of the most helpful things in looking at doing this is making this tic-tac-toe board right here. This is going to set it up and kind of really give you a good idea of what's going to be happening. When you set this up, you want to put positives going down your diagonal. Okay, then I want negatives everywhere else. What this is going to do is this is going to give us kind of a little cheat sheet to figure out what's going to happen as we're multiplying and dividing with our negatives. Now, I need to say that this only works with multiplication and division. Do not use it with addition and subtraction. There are very different rules for that. Okay, So let's look at this first problem I have right here. I have negative 2 times a positive 3. Okay, first thing I'm going to look at is just my numbers because our multiplication stays the same. Well, I know 2 times 3 is going to give me 6. So now let's look at what I have sign-wise. So if I'm looking at it, I have a negative 2, and this 3, since there's no sign, is a positive. So I'm going to come over here to my little sheet, or my little tic-tac-toe board, and I'm going to say, all right, I have a negative, I have a positive, so my answer is going to be negative. So this answer is going to be a negative 6. You see how that works? Okay, so let's look at our next problem. Now first off I need to correct this right here. This should be a negative 4 because I want to look at a negative times a negative. We did negative positive, let's do negative negative. So on this one, again, I start off by looking at my numbers. Okay, oh, let me fix that negative 6. I have a negative, or excuse me, I have a 4 and a 4. Right? I know that 4 times 4 is 16. Now I look at my signs. Negative, negative. Okay? If I look up, <clears throat> excuse me, if I look up on my little tic-tac-toe board, here's my negative, here's my negative. <clears throat> that means my answer is going to be positive. Okay? <clears throat> so I can leave that 16 just like it is, and I'm going to be good. Okay? Now, our rules that applied for multiplication are going to be the same for our division. Now, I wanted to show a division problem represented as a fraction because we're going to see that a lot of times this year. Okay? All it is is it's my top number, negative 15. So if you want to rewrite it to help you out, divided by our fraction bar is just a division sign, 3. Okay? So again, I have <clears throat> first thing I'm going to look at is just my numbers. I have 15 divided by 3. Well, I know that is going to give me 5. Now I'm looking at my signs. I have a negative 15 and a positive 3. So when I come over, I know I have a negative 15, a positive 3. That's going to give me a negative answer, a negative answer. So my 5 is going to be a negative 5. The same way, let's look at my last one here. I have negative 12 divided by negative 4. I wrote this out in more of a standard way. I start with my numbers. 12 divided by 4 is a 3. Then I look at my signs. I have two negatives. So again, I come up, negative, negative. That's going to give me a positive answer, so I can stop at 3. A good way to remember with, with your multiplication and division is that if your signs are same, so same signs, your answer is going to be positive. Okay, always with multiplication and division only. So don't get it for addition and subtraction. But same signs gives you a positive. If I have different signs, that's always going to give me a negative. Okay, so it's an easy little rule to remember. You treat your numbers just like normal, but when you go and you're looking for what sign your answer should be, same signs are positive, different signs are negative. And again, this little tic-tac-toe chart is always a great help, right? So good luck with it, guys. I have faith. Y'all can do it.